Hey guys, it's Martin from Martin's Liquid Lab. Just wanted to give you a quick little uh, iPhone video of my fan test rig so you can kind of understand how it's put together. It's a Canon T2i digital SLR camera. It's a Tokina 12-24 f4 lens. This will be doing the video only. For audio of the video I'll be using uh, this Zoom H1 handy recorder. It is set to manual mode 100% low cut on and recording at 48 kilobytes per second. And I got it about 12 inches from the fa fan. I'll be leaving it put. And most importantly is that the recorder is manual mode. Most video cameras have a dynamic gain so as fans get louder they'll actually reduce the microphone output and that's what this doesn't have a problem with is that it's a good stereo mic and it really picks up a lot of detail but more importantly it's all manual. And for the meters we'll start from Start the left. This is just a uh, American Recorder SBL 8810 sound level meter, just a basic sound level meter, and I've got it set to fast mode and A weighting. This meter here is my XTEC hot wire anemometer. It's going to be measuring in feet per second. And feet per second is the velocity of the air coming out of the flow chamber, being read by that hot wire probe right there. And just to, uh, I'll come back to the flow bench in a second. This meter here is the gray one is measuring hertz of the fan speed and RPM equals Hertz times 30. So you can do the math, but it's very accurate, much more accurate than a normal fan controller, because it measures to the nearest, you know, Hertz. So 30 times, you know, 30 would be 900 RPM. Um, it's going a little bit faster than that. But to do that, I do have a 10K resistor placed between the RPM sensor and the power, and that allows that um, meter to, to measure hertz. Someone showed me that trick. I don't know that much about it, but it works. Then this meter, this green one, will be measuring voltage right there. Those are the two probes hooking into the back side of the fan plug just for voltage. And then I will be mounting the fan to a radiator because I want to know how it sounds with a radiator. Uh, a lot of testing I see being done is not mounted to a radiator so you don't get any restriction or any of the harmonics that you do actually get once mounted to a radiator so that's why I'm specifically mounting to a radiator and then the whole rest of this is just a means of collecting the exhaust of that radiator and then putting it into a place where I've permanently mounted my hot wire probe fixed in a fixed position so it's always measuring the velocity of the air coming out exactly the same for each fan. And I will be doing these in batches because the hot wire um, meter does seem to adjust calibration slightly in between batches and it's really best just to do a batch of you know six or seven fans at, at most and compare those um, and can reset the calibration on the hot wire but as long as they're all done together then the calibration remains good so that's it video from the Canon audio from the zoom sound from the American Recorder sound level and A weighting feet per minute of airflow through the radiator.
hertz. So RPM equals hertz times 30. And voltage at the plug is the last meter. That's all I had. Hope you guys enjoy it. This will be powered by my Mastec power supply, so there will be some switching. You'll notice as I go up in voltage. So the clicking noise you hear is not the fan. It is this power supply. And this should be a pretty good test for actual noise mounted to a radiator. None of this theoretical suspending it in the air testing. This will actually measure the noise mounted to a radiator and should be a pretty good test. I've done a couple of these before and I really like it. It uh, really does a good job of real airflow, real noise, you know, real you know, mounted to a radiator condition. So, hope you like it. Got a few fans from my kit testing I had planned to test, and they're ready to go. We'll report back when I get some testing done. Later.